At 10, what motivates a birth mother to place a child for adoption? in your old neighborhood. Do you miss me? I'm here to take care of Francie's apartment, Fergie. Oh, yes, such a shame. A heart attack in her age. Uh, how long was she in the coma? Uh, four days. Oh, well, we'll all miss her. Uh, Francie will be back. Uh, of course she will, of course she will. Uh, but you know, I hate to see a beautiful apartment sitting empty. It's a crime. You know, uh, people ask me for an apartment every day. I'd like to be able to help them out. Don't start this again, Mr. Ferguson, all right? Ah, you're such a good friend, Annie McGuire. You're a saint, you are. Uh, me, I'm just a simple manager with an empty apartment. Mm -hmm. And you know I don't have a greedy bone. Francie I'm... is coming back. <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, no, please. No. Oh, you thought I was a god. Oh, my God. Oh, relax. You hit me another heart attack. Francie, I thought that you were... You thought I was dead. No, I did. I did. I, I, I thought... I Alive or dead, we're all one or the other. Right now, I don't happen to be dead. Right. Even though my arteries are plugged up clear to my eyeballs. <laughs> to your eyeballs. <laughs> oh, Annie. <laughs> oh, great to see you. Oh, it's good to see you, too. <laughs> The big guy didn't want me tapping my last dance yet. For one reason and one reason only. Oh, Annie, I tell you, nobody but nobody should leave this world with something unfinished. God looked me right in the eye and said, Francie, get it done. Get what done? And I will. As soon as I get out of here. Hello, Mrs. McGuire. Um, hello, Francie, doctor. get back in bed. You need your rest. Rest? Remember me? I just got through being four days in a coma. How much more rest do you think I need? I gotta get out of here. And I am not gonna go to my old neighborhood with my derriere waving in the breeze. Is she all right to be doing this? Well, she certainly has enough energy. <laughs> but I've recommended that she stay here just a day or two. That way we can keep her under observation and make sure she takes her medication. And I appreciate it, Smiley, but you don't understand. I have some unfinished business to take care of. See. Does she listen to anyone? Well, I've, I've known her for 20 years now. She's like a second grandmother to my son, and no. Well, she better start. She's been through quite an ordeal. Come on along. Come on along. It's Alexander's uh, race. If I were to release her. Come on. Uh, in. Not that I recommend it, Come but, but if I were, is there anyone who can be sure she'd take it easy? I understand she lives alone. What, what if she moved in with me? That way I could really keep an eye on her. 
Well... And I would take full responsibility. Yeah, but can you handle it? No. But I'll certainly do my best. Hey, 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 look who's here. Hi, Francie. Hey, little Frankenstein. <laughs> you remember Lenny and Debbie from the yeah. wedding? You were the one that sang that old song. Yeah, the song that Fats Waller wrote. And you know something about Fats Waller? He used to sell those songs for the price of a hamburger. <laughs> come on, kids, come on. Let's go to bed. Time to go to bed now. Say good night to Francie. Good night, Gotta get some rest. Come on. Good night. Off you go. Off you go. Good to see you. <laughs> oh. I gotta go to Jamaica tomorrow. Oh, Francie, I don't think the doctor wants you to travel. Jamaica, Queens, just across the river. I gotta find someone. Jordan Clover, appearing Fridays at the Midnight Club. Um, who is this? The greatest ivory tickler on the East Coast. We grew up together in Baltimore as kids. We were best friends and we had an act. We used to sing and dance together at Mrs. Poe's recitals. And then, oh, I got a picture of us here, right here. This is us. <laughs> this is us doing button up your overcoat. Oh, oh we used to bring the house down every Sunday that afternoon. You did look at that. And that picture was taken just before we split up. I never saw him again. Huh. A, a friend of mine sent me this clipping just to. A couple of months ago. So this is your unfinished business? Yeah. yeah. Francie, I'm afraid it's going to have to wait. It can't wait. Annie, I crossed over. I saw how it was on the other side. On the other side of... Oh, so you mean you... you... On the other side. You were... Really? But God wasn't ready to shake my hand. Maybe he didn't see you. I mean, because, you know, you weren't supposed to, to be there, officially. I was close enough. I got to find him. I got to find Jordan Clover. With you or without you. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll talk about this tomorrow morning, okay? Good and early. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. You kiss every stray woman who crawls into bed with uh, you? Ladies are lined up for miles and miles and miles. Five cents a kiss, I'll be able to send the kids to college. Let them get scholarships. Mm -hmm. I want you all to myself. What are you doing tomorrow night? Sleeping. Want to go to Jamaica? Guess the jazz got too hot. Yo, can I help you? Yo, uh, um, you better let me handle this. Yeah, Nick, you go ahead. We're looking for a friend of our friend here. So do you know the people who used to work in this club? We're looking for a Jordan Clover. Do you know where we might find him? See that guy over there? That's Boris. He knows where Jordan is. Hey, Boris. Boris, I'm a friend of Jordan Clover. We used to work together 50 years ago. Yeah? I gotta find him. It's a matter of life or death. Jordan left to play the hot and sweet club in Richmond. Thanks. Say hi to him for me. Thanks. Just so much. Thanks, Boris. Peace, man. Jamaica, Queens is one thing, you know, but, but 400 miles to Richmond, Virginia is going too far. You know where we're going, right? But we're just, we're going to follow that blue line right, right there. What'll it be, ladies? I'll have two fried eggs, hash browns, a side of sausage, and an order of onion rings. You'll have nothing of the kind. You have a bad heart. We'll each have a piece of melon and a toasted bagel. Ma'am, the only bagel we've seen in these parts rolled off a truck on its way to Miami. <laughs> Make it wheat toast. 
Oh, honey, add to mine a short stack of pancakes, please. Thanks. You are impossible. I know I am. Are you sorry you took me on? Of course not. I appreciate all this that you're doing for me. Hey, listen, though, this is great. I'd forgotten what it feels like to just pick up and take off. <laughs> That's the only way I ever went. <laughs> what exactly is it that Jordan Clover did to you? Jordan didn't do anything to me. I did it to him. You know, it's easy to forgive people, isn't it? But don't you think it's harder to ask forgiveness? What about you? You got any regrets? Well, my regrets are usually about things I didn't do. Like what? <sighs> well, for one thing, I never learned how to ride a bike. What? Everybody knows how to ride well, a bike. Well, I don't, and I, I, you know, I just never got around to it. See, we lived in uh, Greenwich Village, and there was so much traffic. And then, by the time I was old enough, I was too embarrassed to admit that I didn't know how to. Anything else? Oh, yeah, lots of things. I regret I didn't go to Tibet when I had the chance. And that I didn't taste an avocado till I was 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's one thing that's going to sound pretty stupid, but... One summer day, a couple of years ago, I was walking through the park. It was very early in the morning. There was no one around. And I saw this tree, great tree, with this wonderful, fat old branch. And I wanted to sit in that branch and watch the sunrise. It just... But I had an appointment, and so I just walked on. But I've always regretted I didn't sit in that tree and watch the sun come up. It's the J.C. Penney Semi-Annual Foundation and White Sale, where you'll breeze into savings on everything soft. Save 25 to 33 percent on all lingerie, bras, briefs, bikinis, and daywear. Super soft comforters, bedspreads, blankets, sheets, and pillowcases. Save 10 to 40 percent. And every soft bath towel is on sale too. So get the soft touch of the Foundation and White Sale. You're looking smarter than How's it going, Dad? We have bread and insomniac. Well, what'd you feed her? Oh, Papa Mia's pizza with anchovies. David. I tried strained carrots. Should've tried candlelight. I was saving that for the formula. Here, you talk to her. Lori? Sleep, little Lori. I'll be home When the love comes right through, that's AT&T. Well, looks like you had the right formula. Reach out and touch someone. Uh, put a quart of 1040 in it. Morning. Morning. Oh. Morning. Need some help, ma'am? Uh, well, I don't seem to be able to get the cup to drop. Mm-hmm. Talk to it, Charlie. Ah. You gotta speak its language. Amazing. Thank you. Amazing. Beautiful morning. Mm. Charlie and I are headed out to see the redneck grebe. Who? Uh, last week we saw a, a tufted titmouse over near Richmond. That was a white-breasted nuthatch, Charlie. Yeah, well, I get those two confused all the time myself. Tufted. And... Me too. <laughs> I'm Jack Lovejoy, and this is Charles Irwin. Hello. We're bachelors. Mm. Really? Mm. Have you ever seen a redneck grebe? I don't think so. Magnificent bird. Oh, oh. Magnificent. A group of us are getting together tonight to show some of our slides. Maybe you... No. Thank you. What? Another time. Well, Charlie here has a beautiful photograph in color of a purple vested wine sapper feeding its youngins. Of course, it's not the same thing well, no. as being there. No, but... never. Oh. Of course. Yeah. Well, if I'd had more warning, perhaps, but oh. I'm waiting... Oh, there she is now. Oh, well, so. see ya. What are you dragging? You were those guys. 
one of them is good looking. They're bird lovers. You think they go for an old bird like me? <laughs> Not unless you have a purple vest or a red neck. You know. <laughs> You're unbelievable. Now, what is this? Unfinished business. Yours. Francie, I really appreciate the bike, but do we have to do it now? All right, now, this is at 12, this is at 6. Now, you just put your feet on there and push. It's One other easy. thing I regret, that's ever having told you that I can't ride a bike. Lousy. Okay, you did lousy. Well, I'm not going to do it anymore. I've had it. I never figured you for a quitter. I'm not a quitter. Then you try again. No. I knew it. When I get home, if I have the time, I'll try again, all right? You'll never do it. You'll put it in the garage, and I that'll be the last anybody ever hears of it. What if I do? Gone this far without riding a bike? It's not as though I'm going to have a paper route. I wonder if you'll recognize me. Francie, what is this all about? We've been on the road forever, and I still don't know why we're here. Well, when I was 15, Mr. Shaw, a big vaudeville act manager, caught our act, and he offered me a cross-country tour. Me, not Jordan. You see, Mr. Shaw didn't want the trouble of getting a Negro into hotels and restaurants and onto trains. Mm. But I didn't tell Jordan I was leaving. I just left. No note, no thank you, no nothing. It was a hell of a way to treat your best friend. You never saw him again? No. What are you going to say to him? I'm going to ask Jordan Clover to forgive me. I'm going to tell him face to face how sorry I am. And I'm going to do that tonight. <laughs> Um, why don't you sit over here, Francie, and I'll see what I can find out. Um, excuse me, what time does Jordan Clover go on? Uma? Jordan Clover? Ah, Clover. He don't play here no more. No, no Clover. But isn't this the uh, hot and sweet club? Yes, ma'am, it is. It, hey. <laughs> don't worry. Be happy. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, I see. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ask him. The brother with the bean on his head over there. The hat. Yes. Bean hat. Excuse me. I wonder if you can help me. I'm, I'm looking for Jordan Clover. He's not here now. He's gone to where he hears his own music. And uh, where might that be exactly? Where he goes, that's where he goes. He is where he is, but not yet. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> we made again. Francie, no luck. Oh, so. Well, what love? Have a nice day. Well, thank you. We tried. No one can deny that we tried. We've asked everyone, and no one knows where the man is. Well, I blew it. I waited until it was too late. Thanks, honey. I'm sorry I dragged you along on all this. You've been a wonderful friend. Hey, Francie. You're not gonna give up. You, of all people... Well, maybe... To let it be a lesson to you, honey. If you ever want to do something, then you got it in your heart. Do it. Just don't, don't wait. Strike while the iron is hot.
Aren't you going to go talk to him? Oh. I, I can't. You mean we came all this way and now you can't? He'll never forgive me. Francie, you can't let this opportunity go by. If you do, that'll be two big regrets and God will never shake your hand. Baby cooking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to bring out all the feelings. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Jordan Clover? Yeah. God, I'm Annie McGuire, and you're just wonderful. Well, well thanks. Well, I came all the way from Bayonne, New Jersey, to find you. My friend tells me you play button up your overcoat like nobody else. <laughs> no one's asked to hear that song in over 50 years. Now, how come you and your friend want to hear that song? Because it was always my favorite. Jordan, it's Francie. Hello, girl. You looking so good. Yes, sir. You looking good. You're looking pretty good yourself. <laughs> Maybe you and I should leave them alone. I work here. Uh, yeah, come on. Yeah, have a seat, sugar. Jordan, I came to apologize. For what? For running out on you. For going with Mr. Shaw's vaudeville circuit and not telling you. For leaving town. That's all right. No, it was not all right. I should have told Mr. Shaw. We're a team. Francie, Francie, you don't have to say no more. I forgave you a long time ago. You were always my best friend. The least I could have done was say goodbye. Why well, say goodbye if we destined to meet again, huh, Sugar? Hey. Remember this. <laughs> Button up your overcoat. When the wind is free. Yeah, sing it, baby. Take go. Right. Carry yourself. You belong, belong to, to me. Bubble do did it die. Eat an apple every day. Get to bed by three. I hear you, girl. Take good care of yourself. You, you belong, belong to me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away. We'll be right back. It's amazing what you can invent. Got to be a million single women in L.A., and my ex-husband, Norman, has to pick this one. That's my teacher! I'm not jealous. It just makes everything more complicated. You know, after all these years, there's still the kids. And Norman, who makes me crazy. Almost Grown. It's about the way we were and the way we are. Monday.
stay tuned as McCall becomes a target in a bizarre plot of terror and intrigue in a special two-hour episode of The Equalizer. Next. I'm Mike Walter. The Pan Am crash was caused by a bomb. Airport security is being increased. Locally, the Vikings have left for Tucson. Mark Rosen has a live report from there. And Tom Hanneman surveys the scene in San Francisco on Channel 4 at 10.